Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon and I've just got back from London, been away for a few days. Uh, it was my wife's sister's 30th birthday, so we were down in Kew, uh, went for afternoon tea, had a, just a, a couple of days, what were we there, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah, back today. Um, but I am back up at the yard because we've just finished our Amazon project, handed over, and I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on it. It didn't go the way I wanted it to. Um, we had some lines going down for some new parking bays. They wanted 15 double bays. And you know, as much as we try and do the very best job every single time, the reality is we live in the real world and it just doesn't always go to plan. So I'll be doing you a quick uh, video on that one. I mean, in the end, the project did go right, but it was, it was, uh, it was frustrating because it, you, know, you always want it to be perfect. And, and when it isn't, you sort of take it personally. At the end of the day, it's your business. You're passionate about it. And when things don't go right, it affects you personally sometimes. You just gotta, you just gotta roll with it sometimes. Um, I don't know how else to say that. Anyway, a lot of you guys were interested in the equipment we were using on this one. We had a solvent-based paint that we used for um, around a security sort of office. And a lot of you guys uh, sent me messages around what equipment we had for that one. This one um, is the gun we use to apply all of our primer. So we used um, a primer to go down first and then we used a solvent-based paint uh, because that worked best in that scenario. We do have another paint. Um, I haven't tried it as yet, but we've just had this delivered, which is a two-part uh, paint. Um, and I think you just mix these two together. So this is a Velupox. Uh, paint and uh, that'll do exactly the same job. We also have um, some HS roots from uh, Gavico being delivered this week, which is a single pack epoxy paint, I believe as well. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I, I believe that's what it was. Anyway, uh, rest of the equipment we'll be using on this one. So as a quick run through, um, our ES1000 and the uh, 5900, we had the Zorocco dryer out because there were some patches, although it was a really hot week, um, we had to remove a load of soil, uh, which is one of the areas that didn't work out so great for us. Uh, and obviously that required a bit of drying. And we also had our grind laser, if you can see at the very back there. In fact, let me move this out the way. I also got a question um, regarding the ES1000, what I thought of it. And, you know, I, I, uh, I have to be honest, it's no one's favorite machine, which I, I really, you know, it, that sucks because I feel we should be moving towards electric machinery as we do with everything else, you know, electric cars and so forth. And I sort of thought, well, surely we should all be going to electric machinery as well. But the reality is nobody loves it. Everyone prefers the 5900. And we have another one coming as well. Um, although we're, going, we're actually going for a smaller model. We're going for the 3900 um, simply because it is to spray a different paint. Uh, we've got the, the HS route coming and uh, we have that Veli Pox over there as well. And I, I, maybe I'm being quite fussy, but we have a machine for each individual color and I don't like mixing colors. And the reason I don't like mixing colors is because, take a guess, we made a mistake where we didn't clean out the lines once. Um, in fact, I'll show you a video of that on another project <clears throat> where we didn't clean out the lines properly. Let me just move that out of the way. Surprisingly heavy still. Um, and you know, it meant that the client had a bit of a tingy yellow to the white lines Anyway, long story short, we had to reline it and you know, it really, it really peed me off because we always want to do the very best job we can and I want to show it off, not just locally, I want to show it off to the world and say, hey, look, this, this is what line marking should be. I really just can't see my hand over there, but this is what line marking should look like. But the reality is sometimes mistakes happen and if you don't own up to them and you're you know, you don't embrace them, then, well, you're lying to yourself about it. The reality is we did cock it up. And what happened for us is we didn't clean our machinery out properly um, when we changed over the colors and we had this slight tinge of yellow. And I'm sure it happens to everyone, but to ensure that it never happens again, not only do we have a rigorous cleaning regime in place, we have a machine dedicated to each individual color and now each individual paint system we're using because we do use a couple of brands of paints 
um, for different applications. Anyway, the other equipment I wanted to just show you quickly in here was the Grind Laser. Um, I've got a full product review coming out on this one, uh, which I will try and film over the next week or so. Our uh, trusty 5900, which, um, I mean, it's a crowd pleaser, that machine, everyone loves it. Uh, I've got a full product review coming out on that one. The ES1000, again, we will do a product review. Um, what we love, what we don't love, and why. Uh, we also have the handgun, the Graco handgun. Now this one's the solvent um, application one. They do do two versions of that one. So if you are doing it uh, and you're spraying solvents, make sure to get the right one. And then lastly, we used this for the first time the other day, which is the uh, Straight Line 1000. And um, yeah, that was a seriously expensive piece of equipment. That cost me three and a half thousand dollars to get shipped over here in the UK. And we'll do a review on that one as well. Let's see how much time we can save. In fact, we'll do a race. We'll see how much time we can save. Because if you watch the video on their website, you see these two guys putting tape down meter by meter. No one does it that way. And then you see one guy walking along with this machine as well. We'll do a full product review on that one as well. But that is pretty much a wrap for this week. Um, although I've missed, I suppose, half of it. Um, but hey, I thought I'd show you guys what we were using on this project and I will do you a full product uh, project review from Amazon as well. What went great and what, you know, didn't go great. And I think that's, you know, I, I feel that I can share the truth of it. You know, things don't always go right. I know a lot of people that I've spoken to about it said, you know, you're just sort of showing what's great and the reality is things aren't always great. And I think absolutely right. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna, embrace these problems and I'm going to show you firsthand because hey you might come across them too you might have some problems in your business whatever you do and um, you know understanding them can help you ensure they don't happen again uh, hence you know buying extra line markers just to ensure it doesn't happen again so from now on every single time we come up against the challenge a problem or a mistake we're going to document it I'm going to share it the team will watch it you guys can watch it as well. Maybe you can relate to it. And hey, maybe you could even send me your pointers and tell me where I'm going wrong uh, and how to put it right. We also have a review coming out for the B-Tech trailer. Uh, this is the new hot thermoplastic machine I showed you guys the other day and a full product review, what I love, what I absolutely do not love. And um, it, although to be fair, it is still brand new a week on. <clears throat> it hasn't really been used. So, I am gonna run it up and, and use it. I mean, I have been running it, testing it, checking everything works right, and I've already found things that I, I feel could be done better. Uh, so we're gonna do a full product review on that one as well. Anyway, that's it for me uh, this, this weekend. And um, hey, I hope you guys have a great weekend as well. If you've got any advice, suggestions, questions, or otherwise, please drop me an email or, or uh, whatever LinkedIn call it, uh, an in-mail. Um, or a comment if you're watching this on YouTube. And uh, speak to you guys soon. Take care.